I want to write France off. Will you help me, Didi? Um, France uh, and Deschamps in particular, the way he sets his team up, the, the teams he picks, um, an awful lot of people think they are potential winners. I don't think they have any chance no, at all. Uh, I, I have to agree with you. Um, they won the group. They only uh, scored three goals yesterday. Was uh, as I said, the the the, the most dire game we watched. It was desperate at times. Yeah. It was uh, in terms of quality, the the passes they missed, the the, the mistakes they made. Le Mar, 80, 90 million unchallenged, puts yeah. a ball out of play, twenty yards away from his from his teammate. And and the thing that I'm missing with them, if you look at um, England, is the best example because they probably created the most chances with Belgium. If you look at these two teams. These two teams, players are prepared to make a run behind the back line knowing they don't receive the ball. And it creates a new picture, yes. it creates a new situation. And your teammate may receive the ball, he's got a bit of space, he can do something with it and, 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 and play goes on. None of these players are or were prepared to make a run yep. for their teammate. And I've, I've, I, I said before, I think they are contenders because he's, he's, he's formed a united team in the, in the years he's been yes. in charge and they came very close two years ago. I think they all deceived us. You know, yeah. with the goal celebrations in the lead up to the tournament, when they celebrated and had a bit of a f uh, ever had a bit of a laugh, um, this is not a team. And uh, yeah. you know, yesterday perfect opportunity for some players to come into a team that's already qualified without playing well. None of them took their chance, and Dejan doesn't have a, uh, a decision to make picking his team. Yeah, it'll be the eleven players who played not yesterday, the, yeah. the, the game before. So Pogba will be back, and I think a lot evolves around him. I, I keep saying. If they want to go deep, he could be the one player to, to galvanize things and to inspire things. But at the moment, he doesn't look uh, uh, no. that at all. And uh, I, I would agree with you. Uh, I wouldn't mind. I'd rather play France in the next round yes. than I will play most of the teams who are already through. OK, John, just to, to um, reinforce what Didi just said about them up front and they're not making runs in behind. Giroud can't run and Griezmann is playing so deep so how can you possibly you're playing in front of your opponents all the time and uh, that's uh, bad news for France John. I don't think they've got a chance no well well, of what we've seen I mean you'd have to say they played very very badly uh, whether they're getting behind the defenders which is one element of the game but they're passing and generally around the middle of the field uh, and their whole approach to the game there's no urgency about them uh, they, they looked actually a poor team of yeah. what we've seen so far. Now, whether they can pick it up that much, I would doubt very much. It's very difficult to do that. I and mean, as we all know, you can't suddenly switch it on. No. Uh, you're playing in the you know the World Cup, a big competition where you should be up to up, up from the start, and they haven't been. On the evidence of what we've seen so far, I think France look a poor team. Okay. 